All right, let's. I don't care if it didn't put the actual title card up there. All right, we should be streaming. Okay, yes, we are live in some form or manner. Was dear God. Where's his sound at? Hey, can, are you still there, Janaki? Yeah. Do you have it yeah. up or anything? Because I don't hear voice sound. Um. It's hold on. Show me this video unavailable. I'm gonna try to. No, watch. I had to, I had to redo another. I did redo another one. Okay. Oh God. Let, hold on. Let me. You know, I don't know if I should kill him or not, but I'm actually after that dude right there. Okay, we don't have... Okay, I, I, I figured out what it was. Okay. Because it did that with Fallout 3 at one point. And now that asshole that I was chasing got away. That him over there yep that's or that's the person I'm trying to kill because they've got star bottle caps okay. give me your bottle caps ho mm -hmm. non sunset sarsaparilla bottle caps very Gucci I meant to go kill the winner over there but oh well this place is nipped and seen better days, I'd say. Now. Accurate. Where is the fridge at? Which, if you're coming in, hello, like, favorite, subscribe. Thanks for being here. Um, sorry about all the problems, but you know, it is a Bethesda game, so we expect. Nothing but perfection. What the it, heck? It just works. It just I've, works. I've got to add that to the soundboard. Alright. God damn it, scorpions. I don't have... Ain't nobody got time for this. Don't even have anything to sell on them. Legion recruit armor, machete. Ooh. Laser rifle. Lottery ticket. Oh. It's not what we're here for. Well, we're not really here for anything. We're passing through. Because I don't know if you remember it, but the uh, Wild Wasteland had a thing here where it's basically Indiana Jones in the fridge from the atomic bomb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eat the hat. Because I still haven't gotten into New Vegas yet because I don't have enough caps. That's why I've been trying to round up enough caps to get into New Vegas. Uh, I don't really want... They seem better. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's it. Brew and Owen. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So maybe it's somewhere else with the Indiana Jones reference then? Still. No. I, uh, I think the Indiana Jones reference is out in that, like, first area oh. where you can, uh, where it's like the chick who's getting, uh, attacked by raiders. I think you're right. Let's see. Still, I do appreciate the, uh, Owen and Baru reference there. Yeah.
I don't know, after Kenobi, I feel like they got it short end of the stick, man. Because, uh, they were ready to clap, they were ready to smack, smack some heads with stormtroopers and that. We have. We have that, that might have. Yes, I know my weapon's in poor condition. I really don't care at this exact moment. Mr. Guts and Prototop. Yippee ki yay yay. Ugh. Walkie talkie die hard, motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> uh. And keep just yelling walkie talkie. Walkie talkie, walkie talkie, walkie talkie. Encumbered shit. I don't think I have enough. Uh, I'm just trying. Actually, the weather in 10 mil. Okay. Do that. Oh, 357 Magnum. And a plasma pistol. Yes, sir. after I get my uh, what the hell is it called after I get the uh, caps to get in New Vegas I plan on going over and getting that intelligence uh, implant so I can get the max uh, what the hell is it called max and So I can get max skill points on level up because skill points are your friends, kids. I wonder if that last Mickey ice cream bar is in the fridge, freezer. Hmm. Okay, I can't get in there yet. How much money do I have? I gotta make 700 more caps and then we have a home at least that's the thing about these games any open world games really but somewhere to store extra shit because I'm a hoarder in these things you know oh yeah that was one of my few complaints about uh, plot princess is like like you could get like shelves to like store swords on but you can only get like a limited number there wasn't like a, a box you could put shit in I kind of mm -hmm. wish there would have been. Like, just give me a place to really store shit, you know? Right. Welcome back. Uh oh. Uh, she didn't have enough to we'll do that. Another satisfied. You go do. Silver rush over here and sell that way. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you. This shit only there. I sold all of your weapons and clear the enemy. Now you stole all my weapons, uh, can I at least uh, sell them now? Mr. Storm, mm -hmm. you talking about Willis? What you talking about? Yeah, these guys are assholes. Might I ask for what reason the shipment was delivered? I don't really care about this. Oh. I'm not a patient person, that's so why I'm hopping. I'm not even saying I'm hopping mad. Ah. <laughs> hey! Oh. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Grass. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. 
okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Cool. Thank you. I want to buy stuff. Right. And dude had money on him. Thank you. Not to mention they leave all the goodies out here laying on the table. You get a stealth boy and come steal all this shit. Welcome to the silver room. Yeah, and I can't sell what I have. Great. Dark outfit. Rad scorpion. You know what I was just thinking about? What's that? As a mod for this game, give the rad scorpions a backwards hat and a beer in each hand, so they're rad scorpions. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, laser rifle? Yes. Laser rifle. Do, 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 do. Shit. Uh. Do, do, do. Um, I just, a Wendy just mentioned to me. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you, brother, for giving for Nancy and Jason. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I wish it could have been more, honestly. But any, God knows y'all have done God knows what for us. So I absolutely want to return that favor. Well, it's it's very much appreciated, right. and it's it's gonna go a long way to help them with bills and shit. Yeah, cause you can even 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 if you are prepared for that kind of stuff, you're never really prepared, no matter how much you try to be, you know. Exactly, exactly. But uh, let's. But yeah, just wanted to just wanted to mention that. Absolutely, boss. Have a grenade. <laughs> I love how the grenade really just did more damage to me. Like it bounced off him and in my face now I've got, you know, a broken leg and arm. Because, <laughs> you know, just please take the grenade. I could be selling these. I just want to thank you. Did we get that out of our system now? Thank you. <laughs> Probably don't have anything for. Eh. So they probably doesn't have shit worth selling anyway. You don't. I'll take the spot knuckles though. I mean, look at my hair. I went to make. I might try to make him look as obnoxious as possible. Look at the hair color if you can see it. <laughs> oh. Just you like, name him 1.0. Oh God, that would have been funny. <laughs> I actually named him Turd Ferguson. Oh, that's good. That's a good name. It's funny. That's pig. <laughs> Funny, it's funny, bigger than usual. <laughs> Yay, he literally died and jumped at me. Mailbox? Yeah, none of that does me any fucking good at this exact moment. I'm a little gimpy. Actually, we go, what am I thinking? Go to... Go to Good springs and sell shit. Because we did the thing with the where you fight the powder ganger. I already did the thing where you fight the powder gangers. Where you get old crazy Pete to uh, donate, you know, fucking dynamite. The hell is in the hell is angry out here? Oh god, rad scorpion in town. Giant rad scorpion in town. Oh. Oh, it is. It, 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 that, Hauling ass. That it is. Didn't want to do that. blood. I really need stim packs, and I didn't want to waste those, but I don't have a choice. Nah. Ooh. Not at all. Yeah, he, uh... Next time we just go into the shop. I hope he didn't kill Lazy Peter, or Stupid Pete, or whatever. Because I earlier what had happened is I had a Rad Scorpion following me, and I ran into town. And mm -hmm. sometimes they like to respawn where the corpse is, and that's what happened. Oh, shoot. 
could go over here and pretend like that all never happened. Do do do. Oh boy, you in here? I'm trying to buy from you. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, I'm so looking to sell. What are you buying? Actually, that's enough to get me in. Uh, enough to get me in right there alone. Lead pipe. Give me some fucking stem packs too while you're at it. Pleasure doing business. Thank God. Running. I can go stay in the the gas station place up here. I love. That's one thing I've always thought is funny or, or loved is the fact that you can like take a nap and you're in like for an hour and you're instantly all your bones are healed and all that shit uh. hey it just works it just works I swear to god if when he dies if that's not on his tombstone I call him a lawyer right Yay, we have enough money to get into actual fuck place McGee now. Which is a real place, mind you. Mm -hmm. Submit to a credit check. Uh. Thank you, sir. All that just to get into the damn city. Yippee -er. That's it, partner. Whoa. Do I look destroyed, partner? <laughs> it's harder to put old Mick and Moody Hill than you might think. I wouldn't be much use stuck inside just once a year or something. No, if the one I'm in turns up a goner, I just find another. Fine as cream gravy. Whoa. The place to get started is Route 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. Howe, New Vegas' head honcho. Yeah, partner. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that actually, um, that same Rad Scorpion is who killed the uh, Vic, that, the Securitron that was in Good Springs. <laughs> Makes sense. <sighs> Those things are kind of vicious. Yeah, at least it's not an albino one, not this early. <coughs> oh, yeah, Companion Dismissal Terminal. I forgot they had it. Go see old Mr. House. That is weird sex spot. Well, hello, sex Jane. robot. Sex, sex robot. robot. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We came to. I was actually joking about that earlier because you know, there's that. I don't know if you remember. There's that one mission where you know you get the prostitutes for the place, and one of them wants a sex robot. Hmm. Because he wants a, because it ends up being it's named Fisto. Way, and Whoa. I it's, a, it's a Securitron too. I have to ask, now that you've reached yeah, because it punches everything. That's why. Uh huh. <laughs> Certain. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction. Yeah, he. All, I mean, I know he's kind of modeled after. He makes me think Howard Stark though. You can see that. The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high stakes game 
team ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip, Funny thing is, you don't actually have to kill Benny. You can actually let him get away and then you can leave him to be crucified by Caesar and all that. And you can actually help him get out of that too, which is weird, but I've done it once just to see what would happen. I did not know that. But eventually you can uh, like give him a stealth, you can give him a stealth boy, and you never even like he just disappears. But he's also got a custom gun, so yeah, no, I ain't happy. Congratulations, partner. The boss, you can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse. Just bear in mind, you're the only one who gets to see the boss. Enjoy the day. We need the cocktail lounge. Oh, there it is snow globe in here and not to mention all the free war money I can gank and sell Ooh, a bobby pin speaking of the snow globe there it is honestly it's a shame you can't really gamble in the lucky 38 What's wrong? I like my schedule. Just breathe. You mad, bro? Yeah, she mad, bro. <laughs> that about? It's a schedule bullshit. Oh. Something about people creating a group without the one dude who needed it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, stupid stuff. All right, so gotcha. let's get some storage, because now we have 6,000 fucking caps to work with, because we're ball actually 8,000. Those snow gloves, oh. man. Those those pay out so well right off the bat. Weapon trunk one. We'll worry about the rest of that later. We can also sell shit here if we want. Do that. Oh, weapon trunk. Oh, there's weapon trunk one. We want weapon trunk two then. Wardrobe. Damn it. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, what are you playing? Uh, seven days to die. I take it it's taking less than seven days at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, a, I'm only one person. Yard. I can only resist so much, okay? Oh, fucking you. Jeez, this is our outfit place. Armor 13, powder ganger. And we'll keep the pre-war hat with us for right now. 
All right, so now that we have a place to actually call home, hallelujah, we need to go outside. Oh, yeah, I got to talk to Where old to, Victor Walker? here. And let's Can raid this place, because that's the good thing about it in here. It's like everything's for the taking, and all the pre-war money and cigarette cartons in here. All those people in their need of smokes and the leave the Nuka Colas until we get quantum chemist or whatever the equivalent in this game is. I don't honestly remember pre-war money. I just love how this place is left with just money laying around everywhere. Granted, I wish I, I knew a place where money was laying around like this. Mm. We gotta let the hookers and blow flow, my boys. Great. Nope. Pretty more money. Carton of cigarettes. You know what? There is no Easter Bunny. It's just a guy in a suit. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect day for it. What can I say? Only problem is I didn't get any Cadbury cream eggs at all this year. I'm gonna have to go try to find some tomorrow before they're all gone for the year. Peeps? I'm not a big fan of Peeps personally. I'm dad locked them. I'd, I'd eat them. I want my wife who has an undying hatred of the damn things. Really? Yeah. Like I I'll, I'll eat a Peep or two. They're, they're not like the worst thing ever, but like Cadbury cream eggs is where my and the mini eggs is where my love's at. I don't know, man. I, I like the cream eggs. It's just they're so fucking sugary. Oh, I know. I like the chocolate. I like the chocolate ones better. I don't think I've ever had one of the chocolate ones. Oh, my God, dude. You're, if you haven't had one of the chocolate ones, you are definitely missing out. Those are super good. Like, it's super bad for you, but it's super good at the same time. Like, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. The heck? Free war money. We get, we got all that, oh, we get, oh, there's some. I like how there's, like, not money in the safe, but drugs. There's plenty of drugs in these safes. Well, yeah. Drugs. Money, so. when money becomes useless, drugs will be the primary cur currency. That's, that's fair. That's fair, actually. I forget what the terminal up here does. Doesn't matter. I can't get into it right now. Ain't that a kick in the head? I didn't know dude from friend until he died. I didn't know dude from friends voiced Benny. Oh really? Yeah, you there. the one that the one that died in the yeah, hot tub. Yeah, he, he's apparently he voiced Benny. Wow, yeah, I did not know that either. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's some interesting piece of knowledge on you. I'm gonna have to look at a mod for stabilizing the game because it is. Like, I don't remember having this much trouble with it when I played it on PC last time. And again, I can't. I have to be careful with mods because I can't mod responsibly anyway. Huh. I I know I know it's a weakness. I just go with it at this point. Mods are fun, man. Oh, they are, but it's like oh, then it's like you know, bunch of bitches with their titties hanging out and shit. No, because there there's no. This is where we stop. It's no, there's titties. There's you know, giant dragons that are Thomas the Tank Engine and. You know, macho claws and shit like that, you know? Yep, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> when I say macho claws, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That, and they did the macho <laughs> van, Randy Savage, Dragon, and Skyrim. That's, that's, that's like, mm, that's peak shit right there. Yeah, that, that's the pinnacle. That, that is the pinnacle. Tourist, hey, let's go, Vay. No weakness, we need more boobs. <laughs> Tits are life, ass is hometown. Thick and thick thighs save lives. Let's let's not forget that either. 
and take them in the most wonderful way. You know, if I die <sighs> like that, I am okay with that. And just know that if that's how I die, that's exactly what the fuck I would have wanted. <laughs> there is never a question about that. Yeah. Macho, I'll be back. Yeah, Macho Man Randy Dragon. The only thing that I felt like they should have done with that... <coughs> Is they really should have had the, like, out of all the quotes, the snap into the Slim Jim one should have been in there. Okay, Crimson Caravan. Now, if I remember rightly, Gunrunners, Goober, Gunrunners and followers of the Apocalypse's place should be right around here too, shouldn't they? Gotta remember, I've not played this in mucho years, so... The creator of the series used the quote to explain why the series. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, this is Gun Runners, so we're getting somewhere. Welcome, sir or madam. Show me what you got for sale. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I want my Vault 13 Canteen. You can suck a big old fat one. Once we get mucho money, we'll... Weapons. Apparel. Yeah, we can't afford any of that. Well, for right now, we're going to go with that, take the money and run. Mm. Where is the followers of the Apocalypse place? Should be right around here somewhere. I don't want to have to pull a map, but we might have to. At least I can actually see what's going on on the screen this time. I don't like with Fallout 3 where I could, I had to play it in a windowed mode where I couldn't see everything. Needless to say, that was not necessarily the best experience. I think that's over this way. If anybody wants to correct me or state otherwise, feel free to do so. But I hope everybody's doing well tonight. Also, if y'all didn't see or my community post. Thank you for uh, helping me hit 800 subscribers. We hit it like a few days ago. Big thank you. SK was killed by Sony's stupid Puritan behavior. Going away from that, thanks to Stellar Blade. Well, you know what I missed that's in that vein? or uh, Is DOA Beach Volleyball. Just saying. The fact that we didn't get three in America is a travesty. I still use the DOA Beach Volleyball 2 calendar from all those years ago. We just recycle it every year at this point. Yeah, hey, here we go. This is the clinic we were looking for. Get cured off the wild turkey. Don't care about that. Welcome to the new Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever Studios is wrong with you for a reasonable marvelous. fee. There's if a very new cast, one since three, I've maybe we'll get penis. I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. I've also got two much more expensive. The other implant and Yeah, I don't. I want to buy an implant. Make me some auto. For four thousand. God, I forgot it's that expensive. I could have thought they were 2000 Oh, well, it's, it's half my money, but we'll at least get... That at least puts us at max intelligence. So now we get at least... Why do I have a negative to agility? Oh, it's the metal arm, shitty metal armor. Alright, anything I've got. 
Debt Collector, Wink. House always wins. That's where we're going. Hey, we're right there for it anyway. I can follow these game companies to lose more money. In every, uh, gamers want sex. Well, in fact, the women need to stop making it. I mean, I think they need to quit trying to make everything uh, politically correct. That's how I'm going to put it. There's room for everybody, but stop making it a big deal. Oh, crap. Well, let's take a look. Huh? Gonna go do my favorite DLC, DLC, DLC. The Mo Javi. Which, if y'all want to go vote in it, I actually put a poll up about er what's y'all's uh, favorite DLC from this game. So, did it block it? No, it doesn't. All right, let's make us. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong because I, I can't completely disagree. I'm in combat. I'm not in combat. Really? That's fair. Not, not for me. Nope. I don't so I need to so I can actually read all the mole had something different to say about your comp yes that's fair the mole I'm no longer well rested oh no yeah tell what my favorite one of the DLCs is for this. Whoa. We're drawn to the facility to it's like I want to hear the whole thing now. technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space age alloys, DNA hybridization, I'm just glad I'm not hacking up a lung every five seconds like I have been. At this rate. I do know what I need, though. I need it to live. And that is the last bug around. Kind of need that shit to live right now. Oh, yeah. I have Wild Wasteland. A lot of times I'll not take it and then get it taken at a uh, big... At it Big Empty, just so I can get the name no Gauss Rifle, but I decided not to this time. Where no question See if I can console command it in or something. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially as the war escalated 
So did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great story I also love this if you got to do the voices the Dr. Venture in this. Untouched. And the Venture Brothers reference with the Wild Wasteland for the Walking Eye. Wonders. wonders that in the end had been <laughs> penises. Yes. So wait, there's a bottle cap. I love Muggy the most. I don't the toaster. The toaster. But yeah, don't worry. We're going to get all their upgrades and everything. Bears high fiving, yeah. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its its limbs all over everything. And are those penises I see oh God. Its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. Of course. I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Doctor O. Oh, <laughs> God damn the savagery. Noses for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. It's like, you know, you guys... Dr. 
Dr. Klein, look at it. It's head movements. The primitive jelly eye monitors. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Are you sure about that? Ace, have you been in the Mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all oh, are. Oh, God. As usual. Lobotomite. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. That's true, they've done that. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait, if what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my own colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, big fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and Really, I'm only level Brain five. Extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, 
Then came the coils, the Tesla coils, the coils of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what? The Tesla coils in its head. This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Oh God, Richie Marcus. That is my responsibility. Although, in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as Good telegraph I'm back. wires. What's up, boss? Rather than let them send their signals, I removed the them as well. The penis is on its toes. Organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dollar love no. you. Second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Ugh. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. Oh, God. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, How they've survived 200 years, 200 plus the years since the Great War is beyond me. That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Yes, it is our only chance. A desperate look at how tall he was. Part was. First broadcast. The maybe, game called Whiplash. Just, I maybe. think I remember if that. No, I've never played it. No. We can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. The plan was very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, You know how many mugs, uh, waves, robot true. brains in jars use on a daily basis? Zero! Settle down, Ace. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Muggy is awesome, I do. But the toaster, the, the toaster... Centers. With a death ray. They well move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. Eight is correct. All oh, we level. Need oh, yeah. Schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good for us. Um. Now 
Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Yeah, that's no uh than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The oh yeah, there is a Tesla cannon the here. X2 transmitter antenna array. These robots has yep. These were the uh, doctors of Big Mountain. If you go back, it gives the opening intro. They have went uh, bonkers in the 200 years that they have been in those jars. You, Janaki, you played old world blues before, haven't you? Oh yeah. Okay. It's been a long while but yeah we estimate if you it's been like four or five years for me usually so by our standards if you work quickly you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude what's auto transmitify no clue world gestures lightly intentions exactly the important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time do not get curious or you will end up like the cat of schrodinger we feared you would be tempted to explore big mountain crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated yeah because that gets all the personalities and the best enemies for this explorations are discouraged Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of so many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish to end it all quickly and carelessly. Yeah, it's funny. They're li the way they're wording this is like tempting you right, just you to go right. find this shit. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, the experiment, Nobel challenge. After all, Brock, will you be a deer? Go out. I'm all out of condom. Oh. That's the shit I hear every time Dr. Zero talks. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. Oh, your many penis feet. Colors. Yeah, they, they all have a different color over their brain. There's five of them. that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it. Your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident. And all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious on, by get the to, get to the point. you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors <laughs> can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, More yeah, they just to give you the sonic emitter fair. for a uh, first right weapon. Together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. <laughs> I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you, Jesus. Poker cards. So, 
If we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in high... I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just oh don't yeah, because it's different frequency. uh, frequencies. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? Yeah, there's five I different ones. I see he's into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Oh God! Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco terminating codes to you from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your. Excuse me, goddamn thing. Let's go. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force <laughs> fields prevent us from moving forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed. Those don't show up show up at all for me, you know. It's, it's a plus and an equal when and there's like three missing picture passes. symbols in there. Doctor O. That only happened once. And I know you were behind still fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. <coughs> Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise the things I didn't need that at. one. It's all right. Yes, but not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of the stupid labs. Or inside one of the stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The oh. wall of fields within Berg Mountain <laughs> shall be fielded with force forever. <laughs> the dogs are just going after Wendy like crazy. Fine, so she put a blanket over her head and they were like, play! Oh, hell. Their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? Uh, but, uh, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers. Oh god, so I forgot how she's all horned up on you the whole time. Slowly scanning mm. its form to collect Fruits. sensitive data. No, that would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We could give it Mobius's old room. This where his brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. <laughs> Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program <clears throat> butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. Charles we will also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there. With my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic, combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free, has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. 
Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude okay. biologic demands ding, you need done. to ding, sink. Ding, done. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What, like stuff? Things? Yes, things. <laughs> I don't know. Might be some old Nuka Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's, it's not currency per se. Wait, it's currency. Still in might this be one. enough to trigger the sink's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius' reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive and of high decibel. Combo meal. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid chip chokes on them. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Oh, thank God that's over. As much as I enjoy it, it's also one of those good lord, let's get on with it. Uh, we need science really high here. Let's do that. See, there's all five of them. Eight. He's the one with the voice issues. Still isn't high enough. Okay. Because you can kind of. Oh, yeah, I forgot. To give you, I'm in a bathroom, essentially. Uh, big mountain. We need the sink first. Might need those later. Salutations and felicitations, sir. And the most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet. Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim was to activate them, I lament to inform... If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir... As I am given to understand, sir, this he crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine. Okay. As to the reason for the unusual choice of Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes. Sir. Lego my ego, yeah. Once the tape is installed, supposed to be orange juice, I take it. Their dialectic interface. However, sir will still be required to locate and Okay. In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface. Finally, okay. Did, he get, did it give me the uh, laser rifles? Okay, it gave me the sonic emitter. Cool. Uh, I don't need the patient gown. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Uh, more of the scientist scrubs. We'll take these though. So you can never have enough stem packs. I'm pretty sure we're running kind of low on them. Oh yeah, let's 
Costello Plaza Vista. Okay, there's this. Just everybody gets an idea of what we expect. Our bedroom. For your book. Muggy, there's for you, Trish. I know Muggy's your favorite. All right, stem packs. Yes, yes. Ooh. Stem pack. For right now. I have a. For right now, this will have to do. Let's see, balcony. No, let's go back this way. All right, big mountain, let's go. Let's put some clothes on, at least a little bit. Okay, which one was the stealth place? weapons are any good in this because I don't think they are personally but what's up lobotomite hmm <laughs> well I didn't need those limbs anyway it's all right I was just a little too slow on, yay. What are these wavy balloons? Oh, it's, it's the uh, emitter. It's the what it shoots out. But need to pull up a list of which sites are which things here. And I did it again, yay. Transmitter array, that's not the stealth research. Getting the stealth armor here is probably one of the most important things. Ooh, bag. Cat eye, vision battery, tweezers. No, we're good. Make sure my limbs are good, too. All right. Damn lobotomites. Oh, crap baskets. Um, we're going to just a couple of them. Yeah, just a little smidge. Maybe we may or may not have jumped in over our head. That's okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, trouble that these guys are giving me right now we're literally going to turn around and go sell this crap because I need uh, 
Obviously, I'm not prepared for this. Do I have any grenades? No, I think I used those grenades. I have the mercenary grenade rifle, though. Alright, did we everybody get that out of their system now? Are we good? Uh. Something tells me we didn't, but you know. Coffee mug. Go ahead and prep for muggy now. Proton axe. Just take everything. I'm going to sell it anyway. Carton of cigarettes. Nice. Monkey treats. Right. There's some buff out. Pretty war money. I just want to also want to know who's hiding a you know a pre-war fi or a financial clipboard in a box on a truck. Like, what's it doing there? <laughs> like, the amount of finance clipboards in these games. I swear to God. God, Higgins Village. I know one of the personalities is in Higgins Village. Isn't there that mini death claw in here too? Wait, that was a we can do easy. Well, we can't do easy, apparently. Oh, there we go. I love how it looks like Tranquility Lane or whatever from Fallout 3. Oh, it really does. Like, hmm, they didn't steal that. They didn't copy and paste that. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame them. You reuse what you can. Oh, yeah. That's why this game came out so much so soon after Fallout 3. Kind of had the Majora's Mask Ocarina of Time vibe going on. <laughs> yeah, this is th Now, this is where they all, all those assholes lived when they had bodies, by the way. I like how they've got a, that picture of Robert House they were throwing knives at. Uh, oh, this is Dr. O's house because he's the robotics guy. I mean, to be real, he's Dr. Venture with a, with a, with a paint job, essentially. It's like, yeah, he's Dr. Venture, we're calling him something else. Okay, is this giant auto sample giant? Oh, it's for the uh, thing. Cool. I gotta do it at the jukebox, which the jukebox isn't available yet because I don't got its personality, but still. Alright, next house over. I think this, I keep wanting to think this is where Muggy's uh, personality thing is at. Take him. All right. Okay, 
nothing. Mint hats. Would you like a mint hat? Book shoot. Okay, it's the book shoot it was. Is that sedition? Yo. Yo. What What's up, up Cap? Oh, you know, same stuff, different Sunday. I'm Burn sorry. You got my teeth kicked in at a Star Wars Unlimited tournament. Oof. Is that the card game? Yeah. Hayden insisted on it, and I'm like, son, I don't give two craps about tournaments for this game. Okay, is this where we were just at? One and two on the day. Yeah. You know. What do you do? Oh, and three. I was playing some, apparently I was playing jank. Shocker. That's not like your whole life experience, isn't it? I mean, nah, not really. <laughs> I, I didn't exactly play jank at Worlds. I just had some very tough games that was difficult to win. Well, yeah. Not much you can do about that. No. But I, ain't, I, I left. I, you know what's? I went one in three at Worlds and was happier than than I was going zero and three at a fucking local. <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs> like I, I really didn't. I was like, I don't give two shits about being here. Sometimes it just be like that, yo. Mendoc, the mind maker. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you get the recipes for skill books here. I forgot about that. Toy Dino. So how are you liking that card game so far? I like the game overall. I really do. Um, I'm, what it is with me is I'm trying not to get competitive with it. I just want to play it here and there. Just for me, me, it's kind of... It, for me, it's that card game that I throw in my Legion Army box. And I play between rounds of Legion. I mean, that's absolutely fair. That's To me, that's what I want the game to be. I don't want to chase the competitive meta side of things. Jukebox, hell yeah. Hear that. But uh, I've been. People don't think it'd be like that, but it do. It do be like that. Yeah. Dooby dooby doo. Where are you? Oh, I God. can't get high without you. Good lord. <laughs> haven't been all the way around yet. But I did design a uh, crate deck box. That I'm actually fixing to send to a guy to uh, print. Cool. Commercially, so I don't have to. And I make I make money for selling the file. Nice. And the stream rights off of it because he approached me about them right off the rip. Because of that, I'm more inclined to be like, "Yeah, man, I'll 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 work with you." <laughs> At least he was up. Yeah, because being up front's good. He's like, hey, man, I actually like, he, he approached me about something else, and I was just like, dude, link back to where you get the file, and then I don't care. Right. I the, the ultimate seller's rights. 
hey, I give the file away for free. Here you go. <clears throat> that way, if people they yeah. buy, they want to buy the printed version, they can buy it from him. If they don't, they can just download the file. Right. <clears throat> Oof. Classy. No, it wasn't exactly the intention. Uh, send to. All right, let's go. Uh, press the zip folder. Awaken the jukebox and book sheet. Ah, oh, crap, it crashed. No. Yep. Reloading. 70% more crashes. 70% more crashes. <laughs> God damn. Been that rough? Uh, yeah, it's... This is actually my second stream today. Um, the first one, was... the game crashed like three times, and then getting it started this time was a bitch and a half, and then... And sent file. All right. So book shoot. Ah, good day, citizen. Library project. Now I got to figure out my damn resin printers and why they're want, not wanting to fucking cooperate with me. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and When I really need them to cooperate so I can print some bodies and paint and sell slot car bodies. Complicated thoughts. Because I figured it up by the time eBay fees and stuff get a hold of them. If I could paint and sell seven a week. Not bad. No, it's not bad, but that's that keeps house bills paid and just enough money to keep materials floating for the machine. And paints and whatnot. And that allows me to buy like a pint of paint a week. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate to add to the color to collection. Fantastic, citizen. Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you up. But I do think I am going to buy into Battle Tech, though. Hey, go for it, man. Greetings, I mean, it's big, stompy robots. Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. I don't have to care about lower, and I don't have to worry Blank about it being Star Wars. Reader not yeah. to question, but to blindly and zealously accept. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. Okay. Process the seditious time? materials. Alright, we got our jukebox and paper shredder online, essentially. Yeah, we're not selling that. Forget how many blank books it takes to make a skill book. All right, we've already. I mean, Hayden's kind of bought in on Star Wars Unlimited a little, uh, pardon heavy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, like, he's buying singles and stuff already. Oh, shit. He did and buy want it. To, and he's wanting to sell Pokemon off for Star Wars Unlimited. Oof. I mean, I can't say that I blame him, but I'm not going to let him. I was going to say, I wouldn't let him because Star Wars, how many Star Wars card games have there been over the years? How many Pokemon card games have there been over the years? We're still on the OG Pokemon <coughs> game. Exactly. Word. That's kind of the point I'm making. That's yeah. 
Star Wars, on the other hand, we don't know how to keep a damn card game alive more than a couple of years. Exactly. Well, that, that seems to be any of their properties. They don't want to. They want to make a new one and resell it to you. I know. And, I don't know, after Will Schick's stuff that he said at Worlds and a few other odds and ends, uh, we're probably getting a Legion 2.0 in 2025. Who, who's that Will Schick guy? I have no idea who that is. Is that the guy in charge of Legion or something? Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. Fun. Oh, so they're doing the same thing to Legion that they did to fucking... X-Wing. Uh, yeah, X-Wing. Yeah, and I heard this from a playtester too, so... You know. <laughs> everything's just kind of stacking up, and it's just like, damn it. Really? Yeah, that makes me... That's really nice. Thing. So, I think this will be the last year I truly... I make an effort at a World's Invite, and then after it goes 2.0, I kind of don't care. I'll still play the OG Legion, and actually, I'll I'll break out the 1.0 rules. <laughs> right. Unless, unless the 2.0 rules just happen to be something fucking amazing. They might overhaul the game for the better. That's always a possibility. It's not likely, but it's a possibility. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm I'm not a fan of the overhaul we got. The 1.5 overall we got when they done to the core rule book that altered cover and a few other odds and ends. Right. Everything has a silhouette. Speeder bike is a hockey puck. Too much dosh. I have no idea what dosh is. Or dosh. The medical facility. Ugh. Oh goody, Ulysses has hit, was been here. Was well, he's not annoying? But I have thought about I have thought about thinning down the uh, faction collections. <laughs> oh, really? Which one? You yeah, they. Uh, Rebels is definitely up. Uh, I'm definitely considering throwing Rebels up on the chopping block. Droids. And I would even possibly put my clones on the block. Just stay Empire. Empire Shadow Collective. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting Shadow Collective is a faction. Yeah. Shadow Collective allows me to still use my fancy painted buses and whatnot. And it's a real small army, and I own everything for it. Unlike the Empire Army, where I just acquired a second Gav tank that I'll likely never use. Oh, really? But it was so damn cheap that I couldn't turn it down. Lip it then. Well, so what I thought about doing was going over here to the uh, RC car shop here whenever I get everything squared away. And buying all the stuff to convert it to an RC car. And then I just have an RC grav tank. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's not a horrible idea. And then I get one hell of a video out of it. Right. So, six one, half dozen of the other, and I'm nearing the million, uh, the, the million view mark. Closer and closer every day. Congrats, dude. Hell, I hit At the rate I'm going. The other day. Hell yeah, dude. I'm like 20 away from 1300. Nice. Damn it, enough. The bullshit nasty? shorts. They, I keep having two or three a day go 10,000 views. I keep making them. Josh is like Josh's money. Okay. Again, <laughs> hell yeah. All right. Thought we took that last time. 
869,000 views. That'll give us more skill points. Auto dock upgrade, okay. So we need the auto dock personality to begin with. We need. I thought that was how we bust that. We'll come back if we need to, but. cabinet or cart of cigarettes will take that auto dock nice we got the auto dock uh, personality so take that sunset sarsaparilla We added another no name actor to the 27 Club. 27 Club? How's that? Dead at 27. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Chance Perdomo? Yeah, but. I mean. I uh, but it hit. Sierra Madre. Then again, his wasn't drug overdose like most of the rest of the 27 Club. No, I loved, because when I was like in bed yesterday sick, all I had on the TV was Mystery Science Theater 3000 and um, on Pluto TV. And something about love came up and loved it lasts or something like that. And one of the ones they mentioned was Courtney Love and Kurt, Co Kurt Cobain. And I was like, oh man, that did not age well. No, not at all. <laughs> Need to say, I had a good laugh as between coughs, but yeah. Why should I... Really thought that was how. You... Huh. We'll come back. I think it's, I'm missing an upgrade for it before I can do that. My aggression is increasing geometrically. Do you hear me think tank? Geometrically. This is a specimen research center. Force field disruption EMP pulse wave. Up. Okay, that's what this one is. Okay, we are going to come back to X8. We want the we, we need armor before we need anything else. So we're going to go back to the sink and get the get the auto dock. Actually, we're going to wait three days. So the 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 commerce resets. Mm. Oh, fudge. Except that didn't say fudge. <laughs> you got anybody, anybody got any April Fool's Day jokes planned for tomorrow? Uh, if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to talk about it. That's fair. We need to have something to get for the little shit. But oh, oh, I mean, for him, and I know he's not watching and or listening. Uh, tomorrow morning's wake up call at six thirty in the morning. Are you giving him a Katamari wake up? No, 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 no. Even better, uh, I'm gonna take and set up my phone and tripod. Uh huh. 
and we're going to take and open this door, and I'm going to take a plastic spoon in the biggest saucepan that I have, uh -huh. and I'm going to treat that motherfucker like a drum. Oh, God. do the Osaka thing. I always wanted to wake someone with a frying pan and go in there and just beat on a frying pan. Might I be of Pretty much what I'm gonna do. Good, I always wanted to wake someone with a frying pan and then you go in there and beat him with a frying pan. That's even funnier. <laughs> if I beat him with a frying pan I can upload it to YouTube. That's fair. True. Can't or won't. <laughs> Six one half dozen to the other. It's not. It's not like my YouTube channel don't catch enough hate anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it does. <laughs> Some of them I delete. I, I, others I just take a picture of it, edit it down, and I, uh, there's going to be a video I do one day where I read. read I, I read mean comments. Oh, is, are you going to do the filthy Frank loser <laughs> reads hate comments thing? Probably. Oh my god, yes. Please god do. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be the 1500 subscriber special or the million view special. One of the two. Hell, it's be like the other it's, night. We had it's probably going to hit about the same damn time, and that's the funny part. Right. <laughs> It'll be like the other day when we had those trolls in the chat in here. Oh god. Dude, I, I've never been on such a game of whack-a-mole as I was the other night. Honestly, though, I'm not going to complain. I just, you know, <laughs> It's one of those, it's like, well, at least it's engagement and people watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is engagement. Rightly so, I should think. All right, so there's the crate deck box. Somebody was like, oh, you need to do a gaunt droid, and then two other people done gaunt droid deck boxes. Wait a minute. An R2 deck box. Yeah, an R2 deck box. R2 DB. This is not R2 DP. Mm. Well, you know, that's what happens when you put a... But that's a, what rule 34 is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we did... The auto dock has... You require some additional services? ...been woken up. We really need the stealth suit. Where which one is the stealth suit? Quest, all our friends, biological research, school of horrors. So I do own two copies of the most expensive non-showcase leader in Star Wars Unlimited. Okay. <coughs> There's a hyperspace Darth Vader. Okay. And as long as you're not fishing for the foil version of that, it's a hundred and thirty dollars a card. Yes. And me and Hayden popped two during pre-release weekend. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's how we. That's how you do it. So I, I've been offering up. Uh, I'm willing to trade two of the fancy art variants for three of the non-fancy art variants. Because I want a third, but I don't really want to pay the price tag for a third. What's the non-fancy version going for? 80. That's still not bad. Right? I mean, I'm I'm willing to give up $20 in value just to get the third play, play copy. Right. Because, you know, art's art, and the, the difference is this one is the same art, with no border versus the yeah. a border. I'll, I, a border does not concern me any at all for a play piece. True. I can understand that. I mean, hell, I went through my magic stuff the other day and sold a couple of cards. Probably fixing to go through it all again and make another pass. Right. But the I mean, second do you even pass play one. magic really at this point? Uh, I get my I get my commander stuff out about once a month nowadays. Okay, well, that's more than I expect, honestly. I mean, I own enough commander stuff where I could show up on a Saturday night and we could sit there and play commander, and nobody would even have to worry about building a deck. And I have a variety of stuff. It's not just a bunch of 
overpowered bullshit. A lot of stuff has a, a theme to it, and once I found my theme, I stuck to it. That's fair. I know like, I have a 1-1 a one, one token deck, or a 1-1 one, one counter deck, and it's affectionately known as Dice Factory. Because once you start setting counters out, all you're doing is just rolling dice for the rest of the game. Wait, they've added dice roll to, to magic now? Uh, they they did with the D&D &D set, actually. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. And honestly, some of those cards was cool and all, but I didn't like my card effects being tied to a dice roll because, well... Yeah, that's not a game for... That's not a game where people want random to it, typically. Like, the no. pool of the cards is more the, is the most random they want. And, you know, people, they try to math that shit out anyway where they're not worried about, you know, the random screwing them. I, I mean, where I'm they just play... cheat. Yeah. yeah. There's that. Or play A blue. lot of cheating in Magic. Yeah, it's called there's playing a lot blue. of cheating in games in general, dude. I mean, yeah. I ran into, I ran into <laughs> a Legion cheater, and it took me two months to really... You know, it took two months for me to look at all the angles of what was going on. But uh, from now on, when I play that man, we use a central dice tray and one person's dice. Oh, wow. Oh, did, you call him, did you call him out on it? or? I haven't called him out on it, but if I ever get paired against him again, that's exactly what I'm going to do. The, what did he, he float his dice? He uses whatever? a dice tray that is like two and a half inches tall. Okay. And then when he rolls it, he makes sure that all the dice roll to the end where you can't see them. Oh. oh He's that's... very guarding of his dice. And he just tells you results, and you have to take his word for it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's, so, that's fun. And, that's I, and I, I sat down and kind of... I mental mathed his defense results during the game because I know what they're supposed to be. Averaging, of course. Yeah, I mean, not like uh, any. Flame. A white defense dice with a surge is supposed to save thirty-three percent of the time, and on four dice he would save three. On five dice he might save two every once in a while. I mean, good. But role, when you can't, games when you where that can't happens, push one, but but not all the time. Right, and it's been both games I've played this man. Oh yeah, fuck that. And I get it. My dice can be, my dice can get hot sometimes, and they can stay hot. I'll be the first to admit it. My dice are fucking weird. Since I went to a dice tray, my dice have gotten a whole hell of a lot better. Really? I, I mean, also I stack everything with aim tokens because I know my dice suck. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I play an army that that hands out free aim tokens at the beginning of the <laughs> turn. <laughs> no one's half the battle, Gojo. <laughs> but, I mean, I did spend all summer throwing five out of six about every time I threw dice. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Really I don't good. Know. Especially for On that a game. dice that's supposed to be 50-50. So, I have no complaints about how my dice acted mm -hmm. all summer. But people were actually seeing how your dice landed, too. You weren't hiding it or anything. I use a dice tray that's just barely as tall as my dice. Right. Yeah. Now, there's... Put... It, it, like, when you set a two and a half inch, inch wall on a dice tray, that's, like, not even necessary. No, it's not. Finally, this is what we need to get to. When I, when I sat down and designed the dice tray that I use for my Legion dice, I actually printed two of them. One is dice storage, the other's for me to roll in. And it holds my cards and stuff between rounds because it's the perfect thing for it until I get all my little unit trays printed. I ain't found a design I'm happy with yet, so they may never get printed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having it's a design that I'm having to do on my own. And I'm constrained on my outside measurements and my magnet placements. Now you understand the reason why I ain't found a, a version of this uh, that I'm excited about. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, I'm probably going to print one or two off tonight just to kind of see how they fit. 
or see how they work. Because if I do it the way I want it to, they won't be but like two millimeters thick and barely and there'll be a card that's trapped in place courtesy of the magnet. They'll literally just be thick enough for a single magnet. So I can All save right. money on magnets. Stealth suit mark two. Now we actually have some Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Stimpak reserves adequate. Painkiller reserves critical. O for pain. Are we being watched? Got a bunch of Legion stuff to get built. I got an ATST that I want to put servos in and have the head do funny things in the guns, in lots. I mean, that is kind of cool. And uh, one of the projects I have this week is to cut up all these vapes that I have. Yeah. Is that still some of the ones I gave you for the battery packs? No, no. I can't say that it is. Uh, yeah, I went out to uh, Robbie's old store and... Uh, yeah, that whole bullshit. They gave me uh, a giant tote full of them. I mean, Did that race is cool. Online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. So, I'm going to go through and uh, as I cut them apart and pull the guts out of them, I'm going to dispose of the rest of them because <laughs> I have no use for the cases or the liquid containers. I mean, that's I'm just wanting, I, I just want the battery and the charge port. I'm a simple man. You don't need a microwave? Because I'm already heated. That's not funny, man. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, money. What's that? That's for real, real. No, but I had an absolute blast at Worlds. That's awesome. I wish I'd actually done something on Thursday besides just sitting around. That bad, huh? <coughs> uh, well, I went up there and it was the they was doing an open Swiss, mm -hmm. and I didn't jump in on it. And I was like, "All right, cool, whatever. I'm not worried about it." And honestly, I didn't want to be mad at my deck the day before Worlds. <laughs> Or my list the day before Worlds. That's fair. <laughs> and not wanting to be mad at something before you got to play it for four games is probably a real good idea. And at that point, I was 4-0 with it. So I, I didn't exactly feel bad, but I really needed the reps with it. As we found out. Basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we will let them find us. Oh, yeah, the stealth test. Do, do, do. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, God Too damn. bad. We were spotted by robots. If well, hey, the, the, the picture of the table that I absolutely blew the guy off of just showed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it relocks.
Boys are a robot's big weakness. So where the... Okay, so this is where I'm trying to go over here. Trying to get to the office, I think. Okay, because this is where I'm trying to get to. So, if I do... What the hell is this deal, then? No one has ever been as unnoticed as me. So, we go that and around. We're good. So, it's through there. It's been forever since I've freaking done this, so. This should be easy. As long as I don't screw up again. <clears throat> I sneak shit too to boot. Uh Save the stealth boy for the last one. Nobody loves you. Yeah, I mean, that was a given. You're like, I'm aware. I didn't need a reminder. God damn it. Stealth boys are a robot's big weakness. Yeah, and I've got one, but I didn't want to waste it because there's more tests to do. This should be easy, as long as I don't screw up again. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Stealth boys yeah, are that's robots why I don't care. big weakness. Came over here to check, make sure there's nothing over here I didn't miss. Oh, well, at least the robots aren't hostile. That's 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 the nice thing. Ugh. Sedition. I'll take the free ammo up there, though. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, let's try this again, preferably without the suck. I mean. As long as I don't screw up again. Yes, I know. 37 in a row. You said that I didn't. <clears throat> okay, yep. Using the stealth voice. Using the stealth voice. Don't screw weakness. it.
sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Get it. Oh shit. The hell are the robo scorpions doing here now? They're not rad enough. <laughs> it's the robot scorpions, but yes. Same, they're not rad enough. Uh, let's see what you did there. Hey. <coughs> this one looks pretty tough. This is the advanced test. Watch out for mergers with fires. They'll ruin our day. Yeah. Probably gonna be a marathon stream Tuesday or Wednesday. Stealth boys are a robot's big weakness. Yeah, my stealth boy just ran out. You know what? We did the thing, we'll come back here and do the rest later. I think I leveled up off that. I can't activate shit. Hey. All right, energy weapons have got to go up some. Same with guns. Starting combat. Just kidding. Well, we're not starting combat because I don't know. We're going to stay down here. Was that all? Recycle microfusion. Apparently, Humble Bundle had Saint Tro this week. Which one? Uh, said the classics. Oh, I didn't. The, good, the good ones, then, not that POS remake they tried to do. Where they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna do." things instead of you know embrace what it is they're gonna make it this serious sure bullshit something? which just no ah sure hell bus simulator 21 oh hell so actually i've came up with a great idea for a fighting game okay and all we got to do is name it diner fighter okay i'm listening and at that point, we just have to kind of clone a McDonald's inside and a McDonald's drive through A Waffle House. Obviously. I mean. uh, and then we can add like three or four other restaurants Certainly. without adding yes. restaurants uh, that are popular for their fights. We'll start with like Denny's and IHOP. <laughs> is Denny's popular for that? I've never really heard about people getting into it like that at Denny's. Oh yeah, hey, yes. Hey, that's that's up north. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Denny's is not really popular around here, but the few times I've eaten there, I've liked it. But there's the closest one around here is close to Atlanta. So we can refer back to the group chat around August, September of last year. 
for my thoughts on Denny's and Chris's agreeance on Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all have that joke about it always being the bad one in town or whatever. There was always two Denny's. <laughs> Unfortunately, this town only has one, and it's literally in a truck stop, and it is god... It's mediocre, at best. At least the last sandwich I had there was so tough that, uh... You couldn't have cut it with a with a chainsaw. Alright, thank you, Amazon, for the free games. I shall, uh... I shall now move you to... Not visible. Epic, come here. I need to collect my free game. Good. I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, do I need to do the under a minute Captain Epic free game yeah, review? I hadn't done it in a while, so go for it. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. That was way much more trouble than it should have. So, this one here is a uh, indie Metroidvania style game called Islets. Take to the sky and reunite with a fragmented world in this surprisingly wholesome Metroidvania. Help Ico adventure across beautiful hand painted islands, receive letters from a quirky cast of characters, and face powerful monstrous adversaries. In this uh, 2D side scrolling adventure. Sounds fun. Yeah, and I mean, at the great price of uh, free 99 everybody should get it. Free 99 is a good price. Yeah. Possibly the best price. It just so works. I have zero. Thank you, Epic. I don't wish to read more about Frostpunk 2's beta. Oh, Frostpunk uh, 2's in a beta? That yeah, oh. apparently. Frostpunk is uh, a, Do you ever play Frostpunk? No. It's actually a really good, like, it's like a colony simulator. Okay. That is, uh, survival. Fun little game. It's hard as all fucking hell. Really, okay. really hard game. So, we've collected our Islets game. And we shall continue browsing. Do we have anything else that was on the free 99 <coughs> menu? Coming soon, The Outer Worlds, Spacer's Choice Edition, and Thief. There's apparently... Thief? Yep, Thief is coming next week as well. Oh, Grab that. We I mean, Epic, I think everybody's bought a single game and then collected all the free games. Away. I, don't know the, I don't know if I've bought a single game on Epic. I bought one. I, you know, I don't actually think that I did. <laughs> I've got like a hundred games on Epic, but I don't think I've bought a single one. <laughs> Count. I'm actually going to see if I can look at my purchases and see if there was any that I actually paid for. I know I had two with Hayden. I think the closest thing is I bought some uh, currency in Rocket Rocket League, and the game crashed. Gosh, dude, for real? Yep. You know what? I am gonna call it there for tonight on that one. <laughs> Just let him have it. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, there should be more tomorrow. Probably. And, Maybe. Uh, you know, all right, have a good night. It could be something different. <laughs>